And you know what? I kind of want to get a little bit back to the history, Andy. Mm -hmm. And I, I really can't wait to hear from this guy. So apparently, he's what we call a walking history book. There you go. Al Borrego. So let's go ahead and send it over to our very own Tony Davis for a look at more. Tony. Hey there, Andy and Monica. I'm here with Al Borrego, who is the president of the Cultural Heritage Society of the Camino Real. And Mr. Borrego, you know, a lot of people don't know that this place is out here. And how, like, tell us the story. Give us a brief history of this area. Well, we've had um, over 345 years to know about this place. It's been here forever. Socorro's been here since uh, 1680, you know, during the Pueblo Revolt. And uh, this whole area started developing as a paraje on the Camino Real way before that. So this particular building here at Casa Ortiz is a, is a building that uh, is most probably one of those original buildings from the early uh, 1600s. But uh, the records start to show that it, it was built, they figure, in the middle 1800s. And uh, I mean, we've seen pictures and we have pictures of this building before the portal was even added. The portales, uh, the portales and buildings in this whole area don't come to be till the mid 1800s. So uh, that's when it gets added to this particular building. But uh, there's just way too much history. I mean, you've got um, the Camino Real running right here, right next to us. You've got the old site of the old Socorro Mission about a half a mile from us and the new mission on the other side of us. I mean, there's just massive, massive history here. That is awesome. And I wish we could stay and continue talking about the history, but say, say again about, you know, we say El Paso, there's not a lot to do here, but what can you say about that, like people wanting to come out here? Well, right here in, uh, in the middle of the Mission Trail Corridor, Nine Mile Corridor, Isleta de San Elisario, you've got Socorro. And here in Socorro, you've got a lot. You've got the mission, you've got the old mission, you've got the historic district here with the all new um, cultural event center coming up here. You've got restaurants, you've got uh, Dusty Tap, you've got Three Missions Brewery here. There's a lot of things to do here and don't forget the Adobe uh, uh, Moonlight Theater Hall that they have here. They used to be La Cueva that showed uh, silent movies back in the early 1900s. Well, thank you so much, guys. I'm just going to send it right back to Andy and Monica.